Some people are still afraid of sailing through this region because more than 50 ships and 20 planes have disappeared here since the mid-19th century. You won't find this place on a regular paper map as it's not an official region of the Atlantic Ocean. It's just an imaginary area of water in the shape of a triangle near the southeastern coast of the US. Right now, we're going there to debunk all the myths and fairy tales about this place. The most popular theory says that the ancient city of Atlantis was once located where the Bermuda Triangle is now. It was inhabited by a more advanced civilization than the rest of the people on Earth. In this area, some mysterious crystals were installed that generated infinite energy and powered the entire city. Then the city sank, and its ruins still lie on the bottom of the Atlantic. But among its ruins, there are still places where crystals work. They're the reason for most disappearances. Crystals randomly release beams of energy towards the surface and disable the electronics of planes and ships. There are no facts to support this theory. Someone once wrote this legend in a book about the Bermuda Triangle, and some people have been supporting it ever since. However, there's some oddity associated with electronics. Astronauts of the International Space Station noticed the Earth's magnetic field is weakened in the Bermuda Triangle area. This field is a shield that protects us from solar radiation. Above the triangle, the particles of the sun's rays move faster than in any other part of the planet. This causes unstable work in the electronics of satellites flying in the atmosphere of Earth. It doesn't apply to ships and planes, though. There's also a theory that the Bermuda Triangle is the center of a magnetic anomaly causing navigation errors, but regular checks of the magnetic map of this region don't reveal any issues. You arrive at the place, the water is calm, and there's no coming storm in sight. You look at the compass and see the arrow moving from side to side. Oh no, it's begun! Panic rises within you, and you quickly turn the steering wheel of the ship to sail away from this place. Oh stop, there has long been an explanation for the strange compass behavior in this area. The Bermuda Triangle is one of the rare places on the planet where True North and the Magnetic One are in the exact same direction. True North is the geographic North Pole of our planet. Magnetic North directs to the North Magnetic Pole, which constantly wanders around the Earth. Sometimes, these poles coincide, and the straight line that connects North and South is called the Agonic Line. If you fall into this line, your compass will behave strangely. It won't point exactly to the North, Imagine that you're the captain of a ship sailing in the Bermuda Triangle at the beginning of the 20th century. You need to know where north is to get to the shore. You look at the compass and it points incorrectly. You're deviating from your original course and sailing in the wrong direction. There's the Caribbean Sea near the triangle, peppered with small islands. The sea floor here isn't deep. The ship can get in shallow waters. And now, the ship is stuck on a shoal, and you have no idea where you are. If this were the 21st century, the ship's captain would be able to reach the shore using GPS and other modern navigation. But the most interesting thing is that the compass would work correctly this time, since the magnetic North Pole hasn't already coincided with the true one for a long time in the territory of the Bermuda Triangle. The Agonic Line is somewhere far away from here. There are no problems with navigation now, but for some reason, this is where ships disappear. In fact, not just here. Throughout the Atlantic Ocean, there are places where many more ships have gone. The Bermuda Triangle is not even in the top 10 of such places. One of the main reasons why many ships are lost here is that one of the most popular shipping routes in the Atlantic passes through the Bermuda Triangle. And the more ships in one place, the more shipwrecks. Simple probability. Other theories say there's a space-time rift in this region. Ships and planes fall into this rift and end up in the past or the future. But for some reason, there's not a single proof of this myth. There's no reason to think that the rift is hidden somewhere here. The base of an extraterrestrial civilization is located in the Bermuda Triangle. Visitors from other galaxies steal sea vessels along with the crew, so no one finds the wreckage of the ships. This is also a popular myth that has no scientific justification. Sunken ships are not found here, as there's one of the deepest trenches in the world. Any sinking ship will sink to a depth of about 19,000 feet. The enormous pressure and distance makes it difficult to find the ships. Also, 
the Puerto Rico Trench is nearby. In some spots, it's as deep as 27,500 feet. The Kraken lives somewhere in the triangle. It's a huge squid that sinks ships and is also a legend that sailors tell each other. However, gigantic squids live in the depths of the ocean. They can grow to the size of half a train car, but no cases have been recorded where they have sunk a large vessel. And in the area of the Bermuda Triangle, they've never even been seen. People in the past didn't know about the existence of these creatures, so when they saw them for the first time, they described them as huge, terrible monsters. Giant squids are some of the most elusive creatures on Earth, and scientists had to use sonar equipment to find them. They don't like to leave the dark depths and are likely to be afraid of the sound of any ship. A more realistic hypothesis about the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle is methane. Large deposits of this gas can be found under the seafloor of this region. From there, methane is released into the water. It takes the form of huge bubbles that quickly rise to the surface. Then, the gas makes the water almost boil, creating waves that sink ships. The theory is quite realistic, but numerous studies still haven't confirmed the presence of an increased concentration of methane in the region. Last time this phenomenon occurred was 15,000 years ago. Another credible theory implies the appearance of rogue waves. Imagine a clear, calm sea without wind. Suddenly, you hear a loud hum. In just a few seconds, a huge wave, 100 feet tall, appears from the calm surface and falls on your ship. Some scientists believe rogue waves are created by a surface sea current colliding with a strong headwind. There's a version claiming the wave is born because of the collision of warm and cold currents. But the most interesting theory says the waves are formed by kinetic vampirism. Under certain natural conditions, waves can exchange kinetic energy. And among all the waves, there will be one, the vampire, that gets the energy of all the others. When it accumulates enough energy, the vampire wave spills it out. This explains the force of the impact and its sudden disappearance. This phenomenon is observed in all the waters of the world's oceans, but there's no evidence that it occurs most often in the Bermuda Triangle. If rogue waves appeared there, it was not during a calm. A restless sea is the main reason for ship disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. Severe storms and hurricanes are a frequent thing there because the Bermuda Islands is an area of high pressure that diverts thunderstorms towards the triangle. Huge waves simply overturn ships, and thunder and lightning flashes disable planes electronics. There's nothing mysterious about this. Storms and ship disappearances occur in all oceans, but a lot of legends were made exactly about the Bermuda Triangle. It all started in the middle of the 20th century when a book was published that tells us that Atlantis lies in the waters of the Triangle. No proof was given, but people liked this mysterious theory so much, they began to build upon it. They started making documentaries about it and writing new books. Each material devoted to the fantastic nature of the Triangle was based not on facts, but the theories of other written books and films. And when a topic is popular, you can make money on it. Readers enjoy it, and authors are rewarded.